As a commissioner, there are a few different ways that we use data, and essentially data and data analysis underpins everything we do. And one of the sort of key principles in planning is that a lot of things have to be very evidence-based. Firstly, a key part of the commissioning cycle and your work as a commissioner is around needs assessment. So it's about looking at what, what, what is the need out there in the community. So you're looking at a proposal that's perhaps coming forward from a, a developer or, or a householder who might be doing a smaller bit of development work and you're, you're sort of assessing perhaps some of the, the risks or the, the constraints uh, around what they're proposing and everything that you uh, kind of respond to, to, to that applicant um, has to be very evidence-based. You need to be very sure of your ground and base that on kind of real um, practical evidence. In project management, often in order to start a project or initiate a project, you need to put together business cases to say why you're going to do something, the benefit it's going to bring, um, and what that'll do to the community. So I'm often involved in gathering data to put forward new pieces of work and to evaluate services we currently have at the moment. Um, we're trying to gauge what the environment might look like in 2017, so we looked at census data and we looked at projections from a range of different databases um, just to see where there might be demands on services. I suppose they, those two sides together, but the sort of quantitative stuff is, is so crucial to make your arguments people and then presenting it in that. Um, in a way which different people will understand is also quite important. I think that's where it's really important, not necessarily to generate the statistics yourself, but to be able to question them and to be confident that um, you can read them and challenge what they're showing us and, and why we need to use them as, as a source. The, the other kind of thing that's important in local government generally at the moment is, is the need to be sort of generally innovative. So to have data um, and, and quantitative skills being able to interpret maps, different source, some basic GIS skills that allow you to do that sort of innovative work is helpful. Um, I might have put into practice a few more of the stats techniques that I that I was taught. Um, I think perhaps just engaging in, with it in a more positive way. So I felt, you know, in, in terms of balance, particularly doing a social sciences degree, um, it would be really useful to have those skills. I knew that I wanted to go into the public sector. I knew that increasingly that is about um, having an ev evidence base for what you want to do and um, really understanding the needs of your local community. And a lot of that is about quantitative analysis. So.